Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen the Drone, and today we're talking about what to do when we just are completely exhausted, worn out, and tired from doing all of the deep interpersonal work. Tired from constantly working on ourselves, constantly um, doing that important work of self-examination and healing, and we're just tired. We just kind of wish we would could quit. We maybe see our friends around us having what we would call normal lives and think, oh, well, they're fine. You know, why do I have to do this? And I definitely remember being at that part of the process, just tired. It's like, can I stop doing this now? You know, because it it is exhausting. It takes a lot of inner work and a lot of energy and a lot of times because of all of the personal work we're doing we don't have very much energy for the people around us for our families for our friends for our regular lives and it it can wear us out it can make us feel like it's never going to end um, that it's not going to change and um why am I doing this work anyway? What's the point? You know, if it doesn't feel like things are getting better, then, you know, why do I keep doing it? Why do I feel like I have to keep doing it? And, you know, or how can I find the energy to keep going when, when I'm tired? Because we all know, and I've definitely said it here before, that you know, once we step out on this path of awakening, once we step on this path of transformation and we really decide whether it's consciously or unconsciously that we are moving towards transformation, towards personal growth, once we've stepped out, we can't, there is no turning back. There's no unseeing what we've already seen. And so we have to figure out how to keep going during these times when we just are tired and worn out from doing all of this work and just wish that we could have a break. And so a couple things at this point in that you may need, you may actually need a break, which doesn't mean you go back to your old life. It may mean that you just up your self-care you take a bath you go for a long walk you go out with a friend who is you know someone who supports you and really loves you and listens and you know um you just you can back off you know i'm giving you permission to back off for a minute of all of the the work especially if it feels really um like you're you know, like you're pushing it, like it's not coming easily and gracefully. Take a break, take care of yourself, sleep in, take a nap, you know, read a book, do something that is going to nourish you. But don't give up, don't stop. It just means that you need to give yourself what your soul is asking for. You need to show yourself that love and compassion and say, you know, I see you're working your ass off right now. And that's amazing. And so, you know, here, I, I love you for that. And um, let's go get some ice cream <laughs> or something like that, you know. Um, so you can take a break. But like I said, it doesn't mean that you go back to all of the old things. It just means you're taking care of yourself. You're loving yourself um, even more. And so when you go back into that deep work, you'll have a little more energy. You have a little more compassion for yourself. Secondly, you can ask the universe for proof, for a sign that you're on the right path. But when you ask this, make sure that you are open to whatever sign and information comes don't have it in your head that it's going to look a certain way that you're going to get this certain kind of sign just be open to the sign the proof the information however it comes to you however you receive it and also be open to the fact that it may already be right in front of you the proof that you need may already be right in front of you so ask yourself is it true that i haven't seen any benefits from this work is it true that my life hasn't improved 
or I don't feel better because of the work I'm doing. Really be honest with yourself and ask yourself that because our ego can um, and will try to sabotage our process of self-growth. As it starts to feel its power slipping, it will um, try whatever it can to suck us back in, um, to hook us back into that ego-centered mind. And so it may tell us, you know, you're wasting your time. It's not even working anyway. Why are you bothering doing this? You know, when in actuality, if you really look, it hasn't been a waste of time. You have seen improvements. You have seen your life get better. And so just really taking an honest look as well and being aware when that ego is trying to sneak back in and um, sabotage your process. And so I just encourage you all to keep going and keep doing that deep work because I know that it can be completely exhausting. It can be tiring to try to find the energy to keep going or just do the things you need to do during your day. But use it as an opportunity to love yourself more and to dive a little bit deeper into what your soul is asking for you or of you. Um, and if you need some help in this process, if you're really ready to move forward and out of the place of feeling stuck, then please private message me and we can talk and see if the work that I do with my clients would be a good fit for you. So until then, just love the shit out of yourself, take care of yourself, and just keep doing that inner work that is changing your life and changing the world around you. All right, so much love to you all. See you in the Facebook group. Have a great night.